Hello, everybody. How y'all doing today? It's Rusty Champagne here, and we are back once again in the wonderful world of Gas Station Simulator, continuing to take a look at the Car Junkyard DLC that is due to come out on September 19th. So by the time you're watching this, that would be today, unless you're watching it in the future, at which point it would have been on September 19th. So we, when we were here last time, we had finished doing all kinds of stuff with Sean and had kind of learned what everything was here in the junkyard and kind of got a, a feel for just everything that goes on here. So we can, we're going to actually work on trying to get another car kind of taken care of from start to finish. And we're also going to get everything taken care of at the gas station because the gas station's a mess. So we got to get the gas station all fixed up. So we're going to go back here. We've got plenty of gas here. Hi, scary gas man. Let's get this emptied. Get all these guys going. Man, oh man, this is a nightmare. So that's happening. Uh, we got all these people here and we have like no food. So we can't do anything there. So we're going to get some food ordered as well. So uh, let's let's do that. We're going to take care of this. Oh my gosh, I might actually wait a bit because everyone's honking and I'm going to wait for them to all leave. And once once they're all gone, then then we'll go back and do this. So let's let's go back to the junkyard because that's just too much right now. So we're going to go here. We're going to find a car. So let's see, tears. This is something new. Uh, delivery icon, color silver. Delivery icon, color silver, blue, or gold indicates it's tier. Higher tiers have bigger chances for better condition rewards. So as we learned last time, silver are kind of junky cars. Blue is kind of middle of the road, and gold is really nice cars. So we're going to try here for this car that's down near uh, the southern portion of Texas. And we're going to try this. So we're going to have uh, Pete the Meat take this one nice name he's going to bring this one back and then this one in las cruces new mexico i might actually hold off on that because if he's only at a 65 percent success rate i'm just going to give it a bit and we're going to let him bring this back i uh, i don't remember how long it was going to say or how long it said okay so it's going to be a minute before he brings that back i can wait a minute for that to come back meanwhile we'll head out of this screen and we're going to check on the positioning of our crane, see how we're doing there. I guess Sean's just gone. I don't know where Sean went, but he doesn't seem to be around anymore. Uh, so maybe after we finished our thing, he just went bye-bye. And that's the end of him. Or maybe we'll see him at some point later on. Now, this quest there where it says sit on the bench and enjoy yourself with some beer, that is a quest for the airstrip. So I'm actually going to hit L to go to the next quest line, which is going to be to reach, reach the fifth fame level, which in order to do that, we have to crash Rex assembly and sell new cars to gain needed experience points. So we're going to work on that because the, the airstrip one, like I said, I, I don't want to focus on that right now because that's actually stuff that has been done before and isn't that big of a deal right now so we're gonna bring the crane back out and we're gonna get it ready for when our wreck shows up so we're gonna swing this around just like this and then we're gonna move over this way because the wreck is going to show up on the transporter right over here and that should be here in just a minute so we'll we're just gonna hang out just kind of be nice and patient because we can wait like 45 seconds we've got now as we look we have four people working at the gas station. We have two on the day shift. We have two on the night shift. And that should put us in much better condition than we were in before. The only thing that we don't really have handled anymore is the car wash. So we don't have anyone that can wash cars because that's not a job that they can do. And that's no big deal. Not going to worry about it all that much. Now that tow truck looks like it's uh, somewhere around here. There it is. It's off that direction. So it should be here momentarily so we'll wait just a little bit longer for it to show up the honking will hopefully be done at the gas station and at some point we can go back to the gas station and get stuff taken uh get the the uh, the the shop resupplied that's what i'm talking about the basically the <laughs> get us a bunch of food and a bunch of newspapers and a bunch of car uh car care products and stuff like that 
because that has been empty for I don't even know how long. And the guys are just standing at the cash register going, uh, I don't know what the heck I'm supposed to be doing. But I guess if nothing else, that means he can fuel up cars. And that's good. So we got one guy who's repairing cars with whatever parts he's got left. And he may not have many parts left to repair anything. Because I haven't ordered anything there in a long time either. It has been a bit. I probably should have gone back. I didn't realize it was going to take him, him that long to get here. I thought he would have been a little bit faster than that. But we're, we're sitting here watching an icon on a screen. And watching the numbers slowly go down. So let's hop in here because he should be here momentarily. Yep, there he is. So we'll let this hop off of the truck. We're going to move this out a bit. And swing it left a bit. And back right a bit. And then once this is in range, we will go ahead, swing it back left, hit the space bar. Once he stops, please stop. There we go. And now we'll just swing this way. And bring the arm in a little bit. And just drop it. Perfect. Just like we wanted. So now he's on his way. We're going to come over here. We're going to grab our trusty wrench. And we're going to start taking all the parts off of here. We're going to hit shift to take a look. We've got a battery that we can use at the workshop. So let's pull the battery out. Oh my gosh, there's not much room there to get that anymore. And what else do we have? We've got a couple of tires. And that's it. Oh, am I not on the screen or? Oh, that's weird that it gave it took three shots. Is there anything else? Destroyed wreck. Nothing will help this poor wreck anymore. So that's it. It should have been a lot better than that. I would have thought it would have been a lot better than that, but it does not seem like it was. So we're just going to hop in here and take it and put it into the crusher. I guess that's all we got left to do with it. So we're going to move it forward and swing this way and just drop it in there. This area is not ready. Um, let's drop it. So Z. No, that opens it. That closes it. This area is not ready. So what about the area is not ready? Let's take a look. It seems like the area should be ready. But for some reason, it is not. So what are we missing? That is a graveyard of busted cars. Is there something about the car that's not ready? I mean, it's right there. So... What is it? Or maybe do they want us to take it and swing it over? I, I don't know. So, all right. So there's that. So we're going to, we'll try picking that up again and putting it in here. Maybe, maybe now it's ready. Oh, there we go. That's got it. So we got 100 experience for crushing that car. I don't know if there was anything else that we could do with that car. Perhaps we might have been able to put the parts on it. I don't really know. We didn't really get much of anything in the way of parts off of it to do anything. So let's go back and see if we can get another car and see if we're going to actually do any better this time with the car than we did last time. Because last time, that one kind of stunk. Let's see if this one's going to be better. Is that our car? Do we get to use that? No. And where is Sean? Where did Sean disappear to? I am so confused. So, all right, we got this car at Las Cruces, and we'll have Pete the Meat do it for $200. Sure. He'll get that one. Now we're going to go back. Oh, so deliveries. Okay, well, the car got delivered. So I wonder if that just meant that we've got other deliveries that we can see on the screen. Uh, hard to say. Oh, that's the famous reset button in case everything goes wrong which in this case it's not. So now let's go and let's get a bunch of stuff ordered because we're in a bad, bad way. So we're going to go to delivery and products and we're going to get whatever we can. So let's get so let's get all the cheap stuff. Get the cheap stuff put up. So there's that. Snacks, we'll get some of those snacks. I think I got plenty of room in the in our warehouse to put all that in there. So I'm not really all that worried about that. Car care. Wow, nothing on car care is cheap. Newspapers, I only need a little bit of newspapers. I remember that. I do not need many newspapers. I don't think I have anything with hats and glasses yet, but I do have booze. So we're going to get some booze. And is that it? That's all the cheap stuff, so let's buy all that. 
and that's going to take up oh way too much room in our in our warehouse so that's not going to work so what are the things oh and i've got all that in stock so why is that i wonder why that's not getting restocked do i need a restocker do they not restock things okay well let's get rid of that let's get rid of that let's get rid of that and that and that and then we're down to 380 we got 388 so what do we still have in there so let's get rid of that and maybe that okay so let's order all that and then i have to wonder so if i go to my employees what do they do do they not restock any can they not take it out of huh now I'm really confused because I, I don't know exactly what they can do. Oh, this guy needs to be auto paid. So let's pay him because I don't know if he's on auto pay. So info. Oh, that's just the info about that. Maybe they can't stock. I thought they could. So fuel cars clean the station to handle the register, repair cars. Maybe they can't actually stock anything. Maybe that's up to me. If it is, that's fine. And I'll go ahead and do it. I just... Don't, I couldn't remember whether or not they could. And it's it's been a minute since I've been here. So let's go back. All the honking is stopped. I do also need to go down here. And I need to feed the alligator. So let's go down and feed the alligator. Uh, can I hop down? There we go. And run in here. And get the alligator fed. Yep, I know. I hear you. Oh, shoot. I came up short. Let's try that again because that's the only way we're going to get our water pressure back is to feed the alligator. So all the food for you, all the garbage, and you'll be happy. And then we can start washing cars again. Yeah. Throw everything at Gustav. Gustav is happy. It's important to keep Gustav happy. It helps if you actually get the stuff towards Gustav. Uh, Gustav, please take that. And don't take me. Oh, come on, Gustav. I know I'm throwing it halfway a little bit. There you go. You've got it now. All right, let's shoot a little bit lower. No, too low. Only I can mess this up. So, all right, here we go. I'm back out. There. Oh, come on, Gustav. Make it easy on me. I'm a horrible throw. I just got to get a lot closer, apparently. There. All right, now we got a water pressure back. That's all good. So let's hop out of here. Go back upstairs and attempt to go back upstairs. Excellent. Close that up. Oh, gosh, that's horrible. Now I can wash a car. And while we're here, we're going to wait for, oh, there's our supply truck. So we're just going to get that unloaded. Uh, run in here. Open that up. And open that up. Please don't run me over. I appreciate it. We'll get all that taken care of. So apparently I've got a bunch in stock, and I just didn't even realize it because, again, it's been like forever. We've got our uh, other truck over there to that will uh, that has our wreck that we just picked up. So we'll get that also taken care of. That'll do. That'll do. Perfect. We'll close that up. We'll, can you get out, or did I open that too quickly? Or are you gone? Yeah, you're gone, so that's fine. Did it close behind you? It did not, so I got to close it again. Let's try that again. Okay, let's run out. So now where are you running? Oh, you're just running to get some rest. Okay, so that's what's going on with you. All right, let's wash your car. I could use the money. So let's do this. Get you nice and clean. Hopefully this will not take me as long as it did last time because that was, like, way too long. So we're going to get you nice. Okay, I'm actually going to switch to this one for this part. Because this is a, a wider shot and can go faster. All right, so the, the cars feel like they're dirtier than they used to be. Uh, probably not, but that's what the way they feel. And swing it like that, going to hop right up on your car. I know you don't like that, but that's okay. Go around here. Get this. All in the name of making $150. And I'll try to not get you all sloshed in the process as best as I can. 
Okay, run back over here. How we doing? Maybe switch back. Oh, perfect. That's all I can ask for, is that you're happy. Okay, now let's go here and let's get everything restocked. So uh, everything that I can. Place, 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 place. That's not a lot, but we're going to do it anyway. Place everything I can place there. Wow, that was really not a lot. Uh, do I have ice cream? I do. So that's everything we can place there. I Maybe I've got a bunch of newspapers. Yeah, I... Uh, or, hmm, that's weird. Why can I not place the others? Oh, now I can. All right, how about here? Place. Okay. And how about here? That. That's all I had. It's better than I was. That's all I can ask for. Better than I was is... <laughs> it's a start. Let's now go back here. Take care of this wreck. See if this one's going to do better for me. Back into our crane. And swing. Oh, no, no, no. Use W to move this way. And then lift this backwards. Let's go this way. Not like that. With S. And space bar. Pick it up. And then go S like this. And drop it right there. Like a glove. And we're going to move that out of the way. And hop out. Let's see what we got in this car. So, okay. We're going to go to our tools. We're going to grab a wrench. Going to take a look at this. We've got, uh, yeah, another destroyed rack. So all we're going to do here is we're going to get a spark plug and a battery. So, and then the tires. So this is going to be stuff that we can use in the garage. And that's about it. So really not that great. Uh, more tires? Yeah. Okay. Anything else here? Nope. I uh, don't see anything. That appears to be all. So we cannot do a darn thing with the rest of it. So this is just going to get destroyed. Let's take this. Swing that back around. Space bar. And roll it right into there. Extend the arm. Just a little bit. And boom, there it goes. It is gone. Another 100 experience. I don't know how much good that's doing me. I mean, it's getting me fame. So that's that's not bad. But it would be nice to get a car that actually had something functional. So let's try again. Go here. And we're going to... All right, I'm going to try a gray car this time. So we're going to go here. And uh, let's see. Oh, so it shows. that That's just parts. And that's parts. So these are all just parts, basically. It's nothing but parts. Huh. Interesting. So will... This one looks like it might have a... So it's a Bodge Challenge Paytona. Can we reveal this? Oh, no, we can't. I thought maybe you could. All right, so we're going to try Scotty Potato for $100. Confirm that. Oh, fame. So we did get fame. So we're up to fame level three. And if we get 900 points, then we'll get to fame level four. Okay. So I guess we got to just keep doing that. So we got matte material now, now that we're fame level three. And we could theoretically go after another car. So maybe we'll do this. Sure. We'll try it. What can possibly go wrong? We're going to exit out of here. Is there anything in here to look at? Does not appear to be. And while I'm here, I am going to take a look. We're going to go to delivery. And we're going to take a look at what we have for parts. Because I got a feeling I'm like out of all the parts. So, oh, we have 26 wheels in stock. So not a problem there. Seven scratch removers. Four mirrors. Huh. Maybe it's all fine if they're doing all the repair work. I don't know. Very strange. Are we having another sandstorm? Please tell me we're not, because now that means I'm just going to have to go and I'm going to grab the dozer. And I'm going to have to clear a bunch of sand out. Oh, man. That's not fun. I really don't need that right now. Instead, I'm going to go here and wash this car. Because <laughs> I, I don't mind that. So let's get this taken care of. Hopefully, this will go nice and easy. I'm, I'm starting this red... This red nozzle is definitely growing on me now. 
for a while there i wasn't as big a fan of it i like the yellow one more because it felt like it was it just hit a bigger area but it doesn't hit it as well and this one hits everything quite nicely even if it's a little bit more uh concentrated of a spray but that's fine so we just keep going of course the perfect time to get your car washed is in the middle of the sandstorm um, we all know this it's scientifically proven and you'll gladly pay me for it <laughs> and then drive out and get it all full of sand and that's okay how's it looking now um it's got a bunch there okay it's all on the top so let's get the top go there and how about here? did we get up there how do we get the stuff that's like in there in the truck it's kind of a challenge let's keep going up that way oh i'm glad it's good to know the sandstorms are very very loud they really could be a little bit quieter, and I'd be happy with that. We probably also need to buy some gas. I'm feeling like we need that. So let's go here, and uh, we're going to go delivery and fuel and get more gas. I don't know how much we need. We need about that much. So let's get it ordered before I run out. If we go to upgrades, what can we upgrade at the junkyard? Let's take a look. So we can make the office bigger. So that gives us three new states, two market slots, better drivers available, but we don't have $5,000. That's also $5,000. That's also $5,000. That's $8,000. So I can afford none of this. That's good to know. <laughs> so we will be doing none of that. I could theoretically upgrade things in the gas station that I've not updated forever. The workshop would give us oil exchange. Um, warehouse would give us more inventory capacity and more fuel capacity for $500 that does not feel like it's a bad thing so maybe I'll do that yeah sure let's let's get more inventory capacity because I felt like I was a little bit constrained and now we got more inventory capacity more fuel capacity that's good and I only spent like $500 in the process they'll continue doing their thing I'll get out of their way we're going to make our way over here, wash another car, because we're the only ones who can do that. We're the only ones qualified to operate the giant nozzle. I don't know how we ended up being that qualified, and no one else is, but it's just a thing here at the Dust Bowl, and we don't question it, so we've learned to never ask questions. All right. Make our way around here. All oh, nice and shiny. Hopefully we'll get this all in kind of one shot and not have to go around a second pass. Or we'll get it good enough. The famous World of Good Enough that is <laughs> the motto by which I live in playing these simulation games. Just get it close enough and hope that they're okay with what you've done. Alright, a little more spritz there. Hopefully this will be enough to make them happy. And it is. Good. Good to know. Uh, are the... What do we got left? The fuel. Oh, the fuel's here. Scary gas, man. Great to see you. Okay, let's get that taken care of. Hi. All right, fuel status is low, but that's taken care of. We've got our deliveries. Did they show up? Maybe. Let's go here. Do we have uh, our trucks? Did they make it? I I know I asked for them to be sent. Let's take a look. Uh, what's going on here? Deliveries. What's going on with you? Are you status? So check. Uh, you failed. Why did you fail? Driver lost his way going to Texas. <sighs> and you also got lost or you got caught by the cops. Well, that was useless. So let's try this one in Austin. Um, so apparently we only have those drivers until we get the money to pay for better ones okay so scotty potato you'll try here and then lonnie three fingers you'll try there and we'll keep going and hopefully we'll have better luck next time <laughs> oh gosh all right so we'll exit out of there 
not much else that we can do at the uh, junkyard right now. So we'll just kind of let that keep rolling. Meanwhile, I guess we'll go back to the gas station. And now we can order more stuff. So let's go here and let's get some more things. So we're going to go to delivery. And we're going to go to products. And let's now get everything that we can. Oh, oh, I forgot. I can look and I can see how much stuff we have in stock. I did not look at that before. We don't have much of that. We don't have much of that. Snacks, we don't have any of those, so we'll get some of those. And they're cheap. We don't have many of those, so we'll get that. Uh, booze, we've got none of this. We got a, we have no, a little bit of that. We'll get a little bit of each more of those. Uh, ice cream, I think we're actually okay on ice cream, so we'll leave that. Car care. That's the only thing in car care that's cheap. And newspapers, I think I've still got newspapers. But we do have, we do actually have room for more newspapers. So we'll get those newspapers. Order all that. That'll work. That'll show up eventually. I will have to get more shelves. I know I need to do that. Because I've got plenty of space. I just need to make it happen. There's a VIP around here somewhere. Where did the VIP go? Is he... Where are you? Um, hmm. I'm not sure. Okay, there's actually a, uh, one of our wrecks is on its way back, so that's a good start. We can actually see one of them. There's a VIP. I don't know where they are. I'm honestly not going to worry about it that much. We'll go ahead and we'll wash another car while we're here. And then we'll make our way back and get our wreck and see if we can get some parts off of it. And then, uh, yeah, there's, uh, hopefully we'll have more deliveries that we can do. We shall find out. Uh, let's spray this. This is actually going to be a little bit better this way, I think. Get down there into these little nooks and crannies. Now let's swing over to the other side. So, yeah, there's our supply van. So we'll take care of him in just a second after I get this car washed. So we'll take care of that momentarily. I guess this would work a little bit better if I didn't like move the nozzle so fast. That seems to be part of my issues, that I just move the nozzle way too quickly, and it makes my job a lot harder. So if I was just a little more patient, perhaps my life would be a lot easier. How would you be stranded at a car wash? I don't understand, but that's okay. You go ahead and be concerned, and we'll be okay. I hear you, dude. I'm here. Just give me a minute. I got a lot going on. We got one wreck at the junkyard, which means one of the guys got lost, and that's not good because I ordered two, and I only have one, and one is less than two. Last time I did my math, that kind of worked out that way. There's everything we've got. So we'll take that, put that there. You can be on your way. Have you cleared the door? You are now clear of the door. So we'll close that up. And we'll be on our way. So let's go. Elvis, I have not seen you in forever, man. How you doing? It is good to see you. Let's go back here. And let's get our wreck. Handle that. See what we can get off of here. It's not going to be much. Hop into our crane. Swing it over using W. Pick up the car using the space bar. Whoops, I went a little too far. And now drive it back over here. Drop it off using the space bar. It'll pick a spot to land. <laughs> one of the two. Whichever one it feels like. Let's grab our trusty wrench. And we've got a spark plug. And that's it. That's all there is on this is a spark plug. Not much else. Hmm. So I guess we're going to take this and we're going to space bar it. Yeah, actually, we're going to move a little bit more this way. Then we're going to space bar it. Then we're going to go over here. And can I space bar it from here? No, I got to actually extend it out a bit. Now I can space bar it. There it goes. Another 100 points of experience, which gives us a little bit closer to our next fame level. 
and that's all we can ask for so let's hop out of here make our way back to the office see if there's other cars that we can get and hopefully not lose <laughs> maybe so deliveries you screwed up so status of you yeah uh you were indisposed ha 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 and i guess we're going to get this one and we'll use randy small brain uh yeah okay so sale and contracts and fame so we got 178 experience points there so we'll we'll try this oh so that refreshes in 10 minutes so that's how long it would be before we had new drivers around so randy small brain give it a whirl and let's not mess it up so then the question becomes how long before we get new deliveries oh so oh you got to use contract points oh it refreshes in 10 minutes okay so everything refreshes in 10 minutes so i basically just got to wait 10 minutes for all that to uh to get back so <clears throat> then the next question becomes i bought storage now where is that is that uh hmm so let's go back here and take a look on here so upgrades and if we go to the junkyard and if we take a look at the storage so that is i'm trying to identify that building well it says storage on it so i just need to find a building out here that says storage on it that should be pretty self-explanatory because that's where it would be um but where are you <clears throat> are you at no you're the office now i know we got it i wonder if it's over by no it wouldn't be by the gas station is it this nope that's just a wreck these are just the halls is it back here oh yeah here we go it's back here storage so if we take a look in here oh so these are all the parts we got okay so we could theoretically make another door uh, another car so do i have all the parts to make it a front bumper <clears throat> no let's take a look what parts am i what parts do i have so let's see all oh, is that all i've got i've got a front bumper i got a left door i got mag rims i got a spoiler so that's all we got that's not all that good how about over here nope that's all we got and then all the other stuff so yeah those are all the things so yeah we basically need to get a lot better stuff <laughs> that's what i'm that's what i'm gathering out of this we do not have a lot of good things let's go back to the office and see whether or not that guy screwed up this job hopefully he did not um that's a bad sign let's take a look status check failed <sighs> So we got to wait eight minutes and then we'll have another shot at this. So we'll let that roll. Meanwhile, we might as well go back here and see what we can do this way. See what we can fix up, what we can make better. We can get more stuff uh, placed. So let's place everything that we can there. Let's place everything that we can here. Can I place anything here? I can't. So let's get all that placed. Let's get our newspapers placed. We'll get all the booze place that we can. And we'll get our... We have nothing else in uh, in the warehouse there for that. So we'll go back to the garage, handle this. Or to the car wash. Because this is our thing. This is what we do best. And again, if I go a lot more slowly with this, I'll actually get a lot more cleaned off. So, and I can hold down the shift key and I can see that. So just going nice and slow rather than going completely bonkers with this actually does the job a lot better and puts me in a lot better position to get it done in one shot as opposed to two. So we'll go around here just like that. Swing over a little bit this way because you eventually get out of range and it becomes troublesome to actually clean anything off because it doesn't like it doesn't think you're hitting the part anymore. Am I looking in your brain? That's a scary sight. Uh, we're just going to forget we ever saw that. And just keep on going around the car just like this. 
And again, this is $150. Yeah, see? That is the world of close enough that we know. <laughs> that's, that's the good world of close enough. So let's go back here because, I mean, it's going to be $5,000 before I can upgrade anything in the junkyard. So I might as well keep on upgrading stuff here. So let's go to uh, upgrades because I got a bunch of them that I can do. So uh, workshops, level two, that would unlock the oil exchange. I, let's take a look at other stuff. What can we do? Uh, the car wash increases pump durability, $1,500. But that would eat all of my money if I did that. Uh, warehouse 4 would increase the capacity again. Don't know if I want that. So I could eat up all of my money to get an increased pump durability for my car wash. Or I could increase my workshop, which would get me an oil exchange. Um... Hmm. It's this is an interesting conundrum. I really don't know which way I want to go with this. It's really hard to tell. Uh let's do the car wash. Sure. So now we got a better pump. And we shouldn't have to feed the alligator nearly as much. And that's a good thing. They'll be over here continuing to take care of all these people. I'll get us more money by running the car wash. We'll just continue waiting another however many minutes to get uh, more jobs from our junkyard and see if we can actually get something and not lose the cars this time with any luck. That would be nice to actually like keep the cars and not have the drivers like fail constantly because <laughs> they're not that good at 60%. That is not a good number. Or so it seems. So how much more do we need to be, to be in the world of close enough on this? Maybe back here. And that'll get us there. Yep. You owe me 150 ones, I would say. All right. That's good. We are... Yeah, if I go back here again... Um, oh, I could have taken the shortcut. But yeah, let's take the shortcut and see how much longer it's going to be before we get a new option of a job. So how much longer was it? Let's take a look. Um, three minutes and 57 seconds. So we'll come back in like four minutes. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Here's deliveries. Perfect. So available drivers. Yeah, you're, you're going to go for sure. And you've got parts, 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 parts. So let's get that part and you're gonna go oh i don't even have the money so i can't do that because i don't have the cash <laughs> doggone it i knew i should have not gotten that car wash so we're gonna have to wash more cars in order to afford a driver it's always something i always make these messes we've got um okay you're working the register so i'll go and gas up a couple cars because I can. So let's do that. We got plenty of gas left, which is good. I try. And he's busy ringing people Hello, up, so Dan. we'll come I'll over here. In good shape. That sounded like the unk. Well done, nephew. I'm really proud. That was definitely the unk. I didn't even realize he was my VIP. Uh, glad we didn't mess that up. So that's good. That gave me. Uh, enough money to go ahead and oh well then I can do a car wash here that'll give me even more money so now I'll have the money to go ahead oh how did your how did your vehicle move that's very weird I don't know what happened there I'm not going to question it we're just going to pretend that that vehicle was always there and that nothing happened here Okay. All right. Let's go around to the other side. Hopefully, we'll just have to get the sides. Because the grill is always a pain in the butt to do. I'm going to try to not look in your head. And just step on both sides of you to get your vehicle done. All right. Maybe in the back and we'll be good. Hopefully, that's going to be all. Nope. I'm going to have to do a little bit more. Oh, gosh. I missed a lot of this. So let's try this again. Let's 
go down here. Okay, let's go real close, up close and personal to do this. Okay, I'm glad. There, that's good. So now let's hit our shortcut, go back to the junkyard again. And now we're going to get a couple of cars. Because we got one driver that's 100%, one driver that's 95%. So hopefully they do not mess this up. Going to do this one. Uh, how did my drivers change? Well, I guess they changed like every minute and a half. So I guess that was a bad idea. So you're going to go. And I'm not going to take any 60% drivers anymore. I'm just not going to do it. They are just not good. So I don't know what this refreshes in 58 seconds says. Because these guys refreshed a lot quicker than that. Mysteries of time. <laughs> we'll, as always, never know. That is on its way. We've got a customer at the fuel. So everything at the gas station now seems like it's fine. For now. And that's all I can ask for. Is that everything there is going good. So we'll actually go ahead and go to our computer. I do want to see. So if we go here and we go to delivery and parts. So, yeah, if we have a guy working in there, we never need parts anymore. That's good. I didn't realize that. That kind of surprised me. Um, so, Dust Bowl, Uncle's House, Tidal Wave. Successful services, um, VIP customer. So, I guess if we did one more VIP customer, that would get us something with the Uncle's House. Maybe. I, I don't know. I've never actually seen that before, so I don't know. Um, oh, and then this is just services, wall, garbage collections, loans, and all that. All old stuff. I'm basically just killing a little bit of time while I wait for the um, for our vehicle to show up. Our wreck. It should be here, hopefully momentarily, although I do not see the uh, wrecker on here please tell me that it didn't fail with a 90 percent chance or a 95 percent chance please tell me he did not mess up oh no he is where is he status it's on its way okay i was to say if he messed up i would really really be worried 80 percent do i feel like we could get it with 80 percent uh it's a four out of five shot so we'll we'll hope we'll hope everything will be good there so from a fame standpoint if i take a look how are we doing on fame oh yeah we're at the 178 out of 900. so we've really just got to keep on doing all the things that we can to get ourselves to the point where we can actually build a car because that's the trouble we have right now we couldn't even build the car if we wanted to because we don't have enough parts to do it we only have a we have a menagerie of parts, and none of them are things that you can actually put on a car. Most of what we've actually gathered so far has been parts for the warehouse, which isn't all that great because we don't need them because we've got a guy working the warehouse or working the garage, and it seems like we don't need those parts anymore. But let's grab this car. <clears throat> Space bar it move it back over here and bring it in <clears throat> and let's hope for some good things here hopefully we'll be in better shape grab our trusty wrench what do we got on here okay we got an engine oh we got a bunch of stuff so we got a blower so let's grab this got an engine we've got some mirrors We've got some tires. And we've got a door. We've got another door. Oh, no, we've only got one door. We've got a spoiler. What else have we got on here? Okay, so we'll, we're will we actually going to take this car then. And we're going to put it into the... Uh, is there something else on here? Oh, yeah, we got this. And now, how about? So this is in robust shape, and I think we've taken everything off of it. So now we're going to take it, going to put away our our uh, wrench. We're going to pick this up, we're going to swing it all the way around to this side. 
going to drive down here. Swing that out a little bit. And just drop that right. Oh, bring it back a bit. Drop that right into place. Going to lift that up and get it out of the way. And now we're going to hop out. We're going to start doing some stuff with this car. So we got all the parts. So let's take these parts. We're going to put them all into the chemical bath, everything that we can. And we'll wait. This is not going to take us that long for that to get finished up. So we're just going to pick all that up. And get that all in the bath. And then once this is done in the bath, we're actually going to try this grinder thing again. Because I really messed up the grinder last time. And I, I, I really feel like I gave it a bad, bad rap. So we're, we're going to try that again. And hopefully this time we're going to be a lot more successful. So let's take this our wonderful grinder and let's grind this like crazy so yeah just nice small moves this time it's amazing how much easier this goes when you're being a little bit more slow on this and again we can only go so far down it seems like although on this car we seem like we're doing just fine so i don't know if maybe it was just something with that the the demo vehicle that we had i really don't know because that was very confusing when we did that before because now i'm hitting this without any worry at all this is actually like going extremely easily compared to the demo vehicle all right let's slide over here oh no that's not uh not be ground that's not actually part of the car or it's an empty space or a void space or whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's not something that has any rust on it, basically. You go there. Now we swing over here. This does take a while, even if you're doing it perfectly. That's the only unfortunate part, is that this is not a fast process. But at least we're, we're doing it a lot better this time than we did last time. And that's the most important part. This will eventually be completely good, or we'll be in the world of close enough, which again, there's the world of close enough. Everything is great. So for this car, we are missing, I right, use the button to, on the bottom right car, okay, so we can do this. Time to check the details, select this tab to proceed, so paint, oh, decals. So select one of the available decals. So we got all kinds of decals that are available. Hmm. If I wanted a decal, let's see. Well, we could give it some flames, I guess. I mean, that's kind of cool. So maybe that flame. Point mouse a car and choose where to add it. Use scroll or QE buttons to edit decal or place it. So maybe on the roof we can do that. So let's do that. Give it a nice decal on the roof. Sure. Why not? That works. And uh, let's see, for paint. So now I can give it, can I choose a color? Or can I, let's see. Huh. Oh, so it's gotta be like one of, I guess it's, oh no, that's just the adjustment of the color. So it still has to be one of the colors. We'll go with the grassy green. And we'll make it not as bright. We'll make it a deep green. There we go. And how saturated is it? Uh, we'll make it pretty saturated. That works. We'll paint the whole car. We'll do that. So now we got to put on all the parts. Oh, I got to take out the part that we had. Uh, no, cancel. It, oh no, I've got to. I got to take out the part that we had. So we do actually have to cancel. Uh, yeah, cancel. Or er, no, confirm. Because we've got the. Did I grab the one part out of here? I did not, so we got to take that. And now we're going to have to look for these kind of vehicles from now on because we're not going to have all the parts we need, but we're going to have some. So let's go back here to design. We're going to go back to paint. We're going to go grassy green. We're going to make it less bright. We'll keep it at that level of saturation. We're going to put a flame on it. Oh, on the oh, we'll we'll do that. That works. I actually like that better. So we'll do that and accept that. Can I throw a decal on the top? Yeah, we'll throw that decal on the top. 
So let's go back to the flames. Actually, let's put a big uh, let's put a big six on the top. Sure. Can I make it smaller? Or can I? No. Oh, I can't. So yeah, we'll put a big six on there. I don't know why, but sure. <laughs> it's number six. That's fine. And now we have to go here and put on all the parts. So I've got a front bumper. We will go to X. I've got a rear bumper. I've got a I've got bad doors, so that's not gonna work. So there's the rear bumper. There's the front bumper. I don't okay, so I'm missing a left door. Basically. I've got some rims I can put on there. So we'll put those on. We'll put those on. They don't match. Um, I've got a spoiler. And the bent spinal exhaust. And mirrors. And a V4 engine. That's got like no power at all. And a root blower. So I don't have a hood. And I don't have a door. Those are the only things I don't have. Or a hood and a door. So I've got to at some point get that. And then I can paint this bad boy. So we'll just hit apply. Uh, yes. And we're going to leave it, I guess, like that. Or maybe I try and do this. Uh, may yeah, maybe I'll put all this on and we'll see what happens here. Because we still won't have all the pieces, but maybe it'll let us do it with the pieces we've got. It's going to have mismatched wheels. And you know what? That's okay. We won't worry about that too much. So we got a door over here. It's not going to be painted. That's all right. And we'll put a spoiler on. We'll paint it, I think. Um, are we going to paint it? Does it get painted? Uh, perhaps not. Uh, we've got, oh yeah, the mirrors. Slap those on. We've got the uh, blower, the engine. We'll put those on. So I'm missing a hood and I'm missing a door. And our fuel status is low again? All right, so I guess we'll leave that. So that's ready to assemble, but we don't have the rest of the parts for it. So we'll, we'll have to work on that. Let's see what other parts we might have available. Oops, let's go to the office first. And we'll get some more gas while we're at the office. Because our fuel status is low. How much gas do we have? Or let's see, uh, how much money do we have? Delivery, fuel. That'll work. So we'll order. Nope. Uh, cancel. Reset order. Order. That'll work with the money we've got. And let's see. Can we get another car? We can. Uh, you failed. Ugh, driver was robbed. Great. What kind of car do we have? So 80% or 95%. You've got a rear bumper. We need doors. A spiral exhaust. A rear wing spoiler. And a root blower. Um, can we so do we does that reveal to actually do anything it does not seem like it so I guess the issue I have now is um, hmm. so it's got a bodge rear bumper maybe it's gonna have the rest of the bodge parts we'll let that get picked up and we'll hope for the best we now have to make our way back over to here because our fuel will be here momentarily. There he is. So we're going to wait here for our fuel to show up. And while we're waiting, we'll go ahead and take care of this car at the car wash. Because that's money. And we like money. And by the time we do that, the scary gas man should be here for us to empty out his gas truck. And get ourselves more fuel. Hopefully. Okay, let's swing over to the other side. <clears throat> Again, attempting to not look in this guy's head. So we're going to swing over here because I'm tired of seeing the insides of people's heads in this game. I've had quite enough of it at this point. Um, how much more do we... Oh, we got a bunch here. So let's go there. 
and maybe this stuff on the back will be enough. I'm hoping it will. Uh, not quite. So we're going to have to hit the top. Come on. Give me enough to be done, please. I would really appreciate it. I've got other things I need to do. That is good. All right. Scary Gas Man is here. Hi there. Great to see you again. Let's now go back. Uh, shortcut. Shortcut. And hopefully this did not screw up. Let's see. Um, you are status. On your way. Cool. Good to know. <laughs> so we're going to let him show up. We're going to see what parts he has on his car. Hopefully he has enough for us to finish up our vehicle. With any luck, he will. Or maybe he won't. Um, but we shall see very, very soon. How far is he? Uh, he's getting pretty close. He's 159 away. So we'll go back here. We'll prep the crane. Prep the crane. Wherever the crane is. Oh, yeah, it's back here. So we'll get this set up ready for the transport. Swing this all the way around. And then swing that over. Just in time for the transport to arrive. And he is up there 120 units of measure away. Whatever a unit of measure is in this game. And I've never quite known that. It's something. Maybe it's miles. Maybe it's feet. Maybe it's meters. Maybe it's portions of an acre. It's very hard to tell. Yeah, so hopefully with any luck, he's going to have parts of me. That's all I can hope for. So let's space bar this. Hop it over. Nope, not like that. So here... And down. Please have the remaining parts that we need. That's all I am asking for. That would be great. You were kind of on your side. That's not the best. Let's uh, interact. You probably should not be landing like that, but you are. All right, you've got a hood. That's perfect. We need a hood. Uh, we can use an engine. Oh, there we go. You've got tires. That's good. You've got a front bumper. That's good. You've got a spoiler. You've got a, an exhaust. A rear bumper. So I needed a hood and I needed a door. Oh, man. So you, got a, you had a left door. Please tell me it was, all I was missing was a left door. I think that's all I was missing. I hope that's all I was missing. So we're going to then take this. Going to get rid of that. We're going to go... What is that? I don't know. <laughs> was it a left door we were missing? It was. Okay. So this is good. This is very good. We've got a hood. It had a door, didn't it? I could have sworn it had a door. Oh, man. Please tell me it had a door. <laughs> or please tell me it has a door. Let's hop back out. Because if the only thing I'm going to end up missing is a door, that's going to be very, very sad. Because we're just trying to build a car. We're really just trying to build a car. Um, where am I going? It's over here. Did you have a door? You had no doors. I, I could have sworn I took a door off of you. I really thought I did. Um, all right, let's take a look up here again. I really thought I took a door off of you. But it's very likely that I did not. So let's uh, go back here. Exit here. We're going to go to design. We're going to put a, oh, a front bumper on you. And a rear bumper on you. And then a uh, we're going to put, so let's go to category. Yeah, you have no left door. And a hood. So we're going to put a hood on you. And paint you. All that. And you're going to be uh, the green paint. And you're going to be that brightness. Accept it. Apply. Yes. So all the darn thing is missing is the door. 
<laughs> that's the only issue we've got at this point is the lack of a door. Can we paint you now? No, we cannot paint you. What else can we put on? So we can put on the hood. We can paint the hood. We can put on the front bumper. We can put on the rear bumper. We can put in the exhaust. Does any of that get painted? No, that would be crumb. You wouldn't paint that. That'd be sinister. So, all we're missing now is a door. So I guess we're gonna go back here because we can't sell the car without a door. I mean, we could, but that'd be bad. So let's take a look. Oh, get up. Well, back to the office we go. And let's see, please, can we get a car with a door? <laughs> Just one door. That's all I want, my kingdom for a door. Oh, look at these, these are great. Oh, but it's gonna be 85%. But you're only parts. You are not. One of these has to have a door. It absolutely has to have a door. So we're going to try you. 85%. Just please come back with a vehicle with a door. That's all we want. Just one door. Everything else would be fine. Our kingdom for a door. I only have $614. I feel like I should have more money than that. So we're going to go back here. And we're going to see what's going on. Well, we're going to take care of this car wash. Because this will help it get us money, for sure. Just nice and simple. A lot easier to do during the day, because you can see a lot better. And again, just nice and simple. Nothing, no sudden moves. And we'll go around here to the front. Just nice and easy. And again, this would be a $350. I can rotate that like that. Um, there. Get into those nooks and crannies. Just like that. And then we'll go back around here. Again, trying to avoid seeing into this guy's head. Because I really don't want to see in his head. And again, hopefully our delivery driver is going to be successful this time. Super, Super duper. Now let's go back and hope that we've got success from our driver. Let's take a look up here. How are we doing? And status, on your way, please have a door. That's all we want is the door. That's all we're asking for is the door. Um, again, I'm not going to have you do anything. If I have you do it, no, I'm not going to have you do anything. You're you're more harm than good. We're not going to go with the 65% driver. That's just not going to happen. So we'll wait for that one to come back. And again, all we're missing now is the door. <laughs> That's all we need. Um, why are you out of there? I didn't think I told you to go out of the... Uh, I didn't have you leave. So uh, can I move you? Can I go back to design? There's no wreck in the platform. Um, move to photo spot. Move to exhibition. No wreck on platform. Well, where did you go? Um, why are you over there? What, what happened? Now I'm really confused. Because you're here. How do we uh, have to interact? Move to platform one. Oh, okay. Uh, that was scary. I don't know how you moved away from platform one. Yeah, you, you stay there. Don't don't go anywhere. <laughs> We're not done with you yet. Okay. So now let's hop in here. Please, for the love of anything good. Actually, let's take a look. You have no door. You have a right door. You have no left door. That's going to do me no good. But we're going to pick you up. And we're going to take you... No, nope, we're going to take you here. And we're going to drop you off. And then we're going to hop out of here. And we're going to hope that we can find another wreck that has a left door. <laughs> Anything for a door. Okay. So now, what kind of drivers do we have? You are going to try again for 85%. Please come back with a vehicle with a door. A left door 
preferably, because I cannot use a right door. So uh, what do you even have? So let's go here. You have a right door. That's wonderful. And you got some tires. And you got some more tires. And is there anything else? Uh, okay, a, a, you're just scrap, so we can't do anything with you anymore. Uh, you got a uh, bumper. You've got uh, anything else on you? No. Not a darn thing. So now you're just going to get rid of you. Throw you right into you're the one. And you're going to get thrown right into there. And now let's once again hope for success in our next endeavor to get a vehicle with a door. <laughs> so, all right, how are we doing? Let's take a look. You're just about done. So status, you are 30 seconds away. Hopefully this is going to go fine. We've got our fingers crossed that not only will you be successful, but you will also have a door. So we'll wait another 15 seconds. You've got a 85% chance. So you've got a 3 out of 20 chance of failure. That's a pretty good rate of success. All right, come on. Be good. Check. Done. All right. Wreck is on its way. Just please have a door. It's all we want is a door. Meanwhile, we're going to go back and do the thing that we do best, wash cars. And we're going to also need to feed the alligator. So let's go ahead and feed the alligator. Uh, Ma'am, sorry, you're in my way. I need to get down here. I've got an alligator to feed. So let's go down here and feed an alligator. Because we are almost out of water. We're getting pretty low. So let's take care of this. Get real close so that way we can't miss. And by the time we're done feeding the alligator, we should have the wreck here. And again, I could throw it from farther away, but you saw how bad I did that before. I almost missed from that close. And two more. And I think this will take care of it. Is there any more down here? No, we're full. Okay, good. So let's hop out. Make our way back. Up to the top. Okay, oh no. Uh, get on there. All right, there we go. Close that up and make our way back to the garage. And please, for the love of all things good, please have a door on here. Please be a vehicle with a left door. You also do not have a left door. And you're the wrong kind of vehicle anyway. Ah, so, I guess we are going to go here and go ahead and pull you up. And bring you over here. And drop you down. And get whatever we can off of you. You once again sat sideways, so we're going to maybe drop you back down again. Hope you fall this right way this time. Hop out of here and pull off the parts, whatever parts you even have. What parts you even have. You've got a bumper. You've got a right door. You've got some mirrors. So I can see where it gets to be a bit daunting trying to actually make a vehicle because a lot of the times you don't have parts. And like with these, I can't even do anything with these because I'm, I am i don't have anywhere I can set them. Like if I did this, can I take this and put it anywhere? No, I'd have to... I don't even know where I could put it at this point. Um... It's, yeah, I think that the only place where we can put anything is here. And we have this vehicle that doesn't have a left door. That seems like it's a fitting metaphor for our life. <laughs> we have a vehicle that looks great. It's just missing one very critical component. And it's the one that keeps you inside the car. Perhaps next time we'll actually be able to find that. But that is going to be all for this one. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. 
If you liked this video, I'd appreciate it if you gave a like. If you really liked this video, I'd love it if you considered giving the channel a subscribe. But until we meet again, thanks as always for being a part of all of my silliness. I'm Rusty Champagne, and we will see you later.